my new emails, my appointments, and other notifications. I no longer need to unlock my device, open up each program to see that there are new things that I need to take care of. And I can personalize Windows 8 so that it really is my own unique experience. Even in how I unlock that device. Here, I'll use picture password to unlock Windows. So in this case, I simply touch the first fish, a couple more fish heads, and I'm ready to go. And just like that, here I am. So here I am at Start. In Windows, Start is your home screen. It's your starting point. And with Windows 8, we've reimagined it to be immersive, fast, fluid, personal, and dynamic. The tiles, they act as a window into your apps without you even having to launch them. They are alive and they're always up to date. Windows 8 is designed to work with touch and with a mouse and, mouse and keyboard. So no matter how large or how small your screen or screens, you have what you need. So whether you have a 10 inch screen or four 30 inch HD screens, Windows 8 is going to bring you that no compromise experience. And I can quickly get to the important things that I need to do in Windows with one swipe of the finger. All I do is swipe in from the right edge to reveal charms. And charms are going to connect your app to other apps. They're going to connect to your friends and connect your app to your devices. Charms provide access to key Windows features. And as you saw, they're just one quick gesture or click away at any time. So now I'll actually launch a Metro-style app. And in this case, I'm going to launch a finger painting app. And in, see how the app uses the entire screen, literally every pixel available. Metro-style apps will have your full attention and focus. And I can easily swipe in from the top or the bottom of the screen to see the app commands. Windows 8 makes sure that the things you want to do are front and center. Windows 8 run on both x86 and ARM. This tablet that you've just seen me demo on is prototype hardware running on NVIDIA Tegra 3 chip. Silicon partners, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, and Texas Instruments are all working hard with us to bring Windows to ARM, together with our OEMs. And this all means that the widest possible range of PCs and tablets will be available for Windows 8 across architectures, giving customers more choice and more flexibility. Well, of course, Windows 8 runs brilliantly on x86, both AMD and Intel. This tablet is running Intel Core i5 processor. This tablet we worked on together with Samsung based on their Shipping Series 7 design. It's the same device that we gave out to thousands of developers last fall to enable them to start building Metro-style apps for Windows 8. And your Windows 8 Metro-style apps can be, can be available across all of your PCs and tablets whether they're x86 or ARM-based. And so developers who are writing Metro-style apps can write once and have it run across both platforms. And Metro-style apps are for touch and mouse and keyboard use. Well, I'm ready to show you something new, so let me head out to the Windows Store, which is the one-stop location for all my Metro-style applications. Let me actually show you a little bit more about the store. So apps are what power the new experience in Windows 8, and it does all start here at the Windows Store. The Windows Store will be the source for free apps, trial apps, and apps you can purchase. There will be as many types of apps as there are people's interests. We want to do the best job of connecting people to as many great apps as possible. And you can see it's very easy to navigate in the store. Let me click on Cut the Rope, this very fun and popular game from Zepto Lab. 
Recently, we partnered with Zepto Lab to develop a new web version of the game that's built entirely in HTML5, and it really unleashes the power of IE9 and brings the game to everyone. So Zepto Lab saw how easy it would be to leverage this work, this HTML5 work, for Windows 8, and so they did. Well, I have cut the rope on my system, so I am going to uh, have us play a little game of Cut the Rope. How about that? All right, so here we go. Safe to say I've mastered the first level. Yeah. So there we go. Well, let me try the next level in front of the crowd and see how I do. Time is everything. Yes! Awesome! So, very, very fun game. I encourage you to check it out if you haven't. All right, so it's very easy to launch apps, and then it's very easy to switch between the apps as well. So very seamlessly, I'm able to switch uh, between all these, between all of these um, apps. And of course, with the Windows Store, I can add new ones whenever I want. Well, the Windows Store will initially open in late February. And it will be the first opportunity for all of you to test out a range of free apps. Um, the Windows Store will be global, available in every language that is offered for Windows. And that's more than 100 languages. Free and paid apps will be available in more than 200 markets around the world. And that's just incredible reach. And the store is not just for consumers. If they want, businesses can actually use the Windows Store to deliver their business apps and updates to employees. The Windows Store is designed to offer something for everyone. Well, everybody loves apps, and we know that they're going to be adding a lot of them, both for fun and for work. And with Windows 8, the more apps, the richer the experience. And one of the cool things about Windows 8 is that you can take these apps and your other favorites and roam across your Windows PCs and tablets. And Windows 8 makes it easy to stay organized with all these apps with a feature called Semantic Zoom. So I can zoom out on this collection of apps and the tiles become small thumbnails. This is also incredibly helpful for large collections of photos or large collections of files. And with one easy pinch gesture, I'm back. So Windows 8 works great with touch and with mouse and keyboard. I can pan the start screen with my keyboard or, in this case, scrolling with my mouse just as easily as using my finger with touch. Finding an app is as easy as starting to type the name of what I want, for instance, search results. In this case, here, I'll start to type, uh, cut the rope to find the game that I was looking at earlier. And it's that easy. And I can rename a group. So let me actually show you semantic zoom using my mouse. And just like that, I've brought up semantic zoom with my mouse. And I can rename a group. So let's say this group of applications are the apps that my kids play. And so to make it really simple, I can simply name this group kids so that they can quickly know where to go to find the games that they play most often. So one of the other things I also wanted to show is how apps can work together to create powerful experiences in Windows 8. We built technology into Windows 8 called App Contract that lets your app opt in to access information from other apps. So let me show you an example of this. I'll open up a newsreader app, and you can see I've got a recipe feed in this case. And so I will select this mac and cheese recipe that I think my kids will like. And so I want to share it with my husband so he can uh, make that for them at home. So I'll swipe my finger from the right to bring forward um, charms. And I'll use the share charm, which lets me share files with other, and other information with apps on my PC. So I'll take this recipe and using a friend send app that we created, send a message to uh, my husband with the recipe. 
there's veggies in here, so I don't think they'll notice those, and off it goes. And the best part is I was able to share this recipe without leaving the app. And it's great for developers because now they can write apps that work closely with Windows features like sharing and with other apps to make the experience better and even richer for consumers. So let me show you how I can work with two apps at once. So let me bring up the familiar desktop, which is just one click away in Windows 8 and I'll open up this Word document. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to do my part to help the family eat even healthier this year. So I've been compiling a list of recipes. I can't cook, but I can compile, so that's what I'm doing. So if I want to refer back to the uh, mac and cheese recipe from earlier, I can bring that in and use Snap and actually view this side by side. And this saves me time and it lets me see these two apps at once. And apps, they know how to best display their information in this vertical format as well as with the full screen. Well, there's more information um, here that I want to see. So I'll go to this story in the Newsreader app and launch the new Metro Style Internet Explorer. With Metro Style IE, websites are immersive, as you can see and they use the whole screen. This site has my full attention. When I want to see my open tabs or the address bar, I just swipe in from the bottom of the screen just as I do with other Metro style apps. And when I touch a web page, it is immediately responsive. It literally sticks to my finger. Panning is smooth. Zooming is easy, so let me zoom in on this story. It's immediate, very smooth, and now, in this case, I'll follow a link and actually finish this story. And again, the site uses the full screen and has my full attention. And to go back, I can just swipe and I'm back to where I was. Browsing here is natural with touch first browsing. So MetroStyle Internet Explorer delivers plug-in free browsing, relying on the power of HTML5 so that it's possible to experience the safest and most reliable browsing available. So for example, people spend a lot of time watching videos on the web. So here's that same video that we were looking at earlier on the big screen uh, running here in HTML5. This is the power of an HTML5 video. The new Metro style browser takes advantage of hardware acceleration to offer a great playback experience. So what you just saw is a small slice of Windows 8 with so much more to come. Windows 8 will offer a no compromise experience, the best of consumption and creation, of portability and power of new and familiar. We're excited to show you more as our Windows 8 work continues. As we talked about in December, our next big Windows 8 milestone on the path to availability will come in late February. We hope you'll download it and check it out. So what we have coming in the future with Windows 8 is exciting. And we also have a lot of very cool things going on today. And nowhere is this more um, illustrated than through the range of stunning PCs that are available uh, right now. So I wanted to take just a very brief moment and give you a closer look at two of these ultra-portable new PCs that Steve was talking about that were announced earlier today. So here is yeah. this new HP NV14 Spectra Ultrabook. And it's very attractive with a glass design that's incredibly durable. And the sound, awesome, beats audio. This is a great PC for music lovers. And then we've got this next generation, Samsung Series 9. It's stunning. It's less than 13 millimeters thick and weighs just over two and a half pounds. One great thing I'll also add is it's now available in 15 inch. And this is 
really the first 15 inch ultra portable that I've got to play with and it is incredible. So check that one out um, as well. And then in addition to the PCs we have on display here, Dell is planning an announcement tomorrow about another amazing new ultra book. So please uh, watch for that and check it out. This is the perfect time to get a new Windows PC. Windows 7 today, Windows 8 tomorrow. Thank you all so much. Thank you so much.